we've had more quake swarms at Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano and Idaho Craters of the Moon Lava Field, where we had the 6.5 earthquake on uh, the night of March 31st to April 1st. We still have an ongoing quake swarm there. And we have here, this is the uh, part of Long Valley Caldera. Long Valley Caldera again. And as you can see, it's a super volcano. And it last erupted with a super eruption 760,000 years ago. And you can see the ash fall right here. Long Valley compared to Yellowstone. And the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff. And we'll take a look at the earthquakes so you can have an idea of where they are as we're talking about the, um, okay, here we are again. Let's take a look at the, this is a recent picture of Long Valley Caldera, USGS. Let's take a picture, let's take a, a look at the quakes so you can have an idea of what's going on. Seismo Berkeley, and this is our Idaho, Craters of the Moon, and the blue are the past day, 3.4. There's not that many people living there, so I don't believe that uh, many people may have uh, reported feeling it to uh, USGS. Three people. Three people reported it. And uh, that's it, 3.4, shallow, 3.5, and uh, right around there. There's a, a couple of 3.2s, 3.2, as you can see. Okay, well, there's another one down there, 3.5. And um, this is uh, in an area of the magma that's coming from Baja. And... Um, shallow very shallow in the area between yellowstone and idaho now this is the area here baja california a couple of months back we had a 5.3 there this magma section that we saw before in the map goes right through salt lake city utah and into yellowstone this way goes this way and you remember that before we had the Idaho 6.5 out of nowhere, we had the 5.7 here at Salt Lake City. We've been having quake swarms since then, every day. Um, this was our thing around the Mar uh, March 18th, and this one came in March 31st. Um, basically, this is the same mantle plume. It's the same body. Same body feeding from Baja up to uh, through this area, uh, Utah, Yellowstone, and um, midway between the West Coast and here. This is the same magma body. Um, and the, that's the eastern part of it. The western part goes into the San Andreas Fault and the Walker Lane Fault System. And it also, of course, feeds the high threat volcanoes here, one of them being Long Valley Caldera. Mammoth Lakes is Long Valley Caldera. So let's go back into that now. The uh, blue is the past day and the red is the past hour. Okay, this is Ridgecrest as you can see here. It's about a, a hundred and some odd miles from Long Valley Caldera. And here we are. And these are, our, this is Mono Lake, Long Valley. Long Valley, this is all this is all the caldera, Long Valley caldera, super volcano. This is the whole thing here. Okay, and you can see that this is a uh, let's take this one. How much is that? Is that one? No, that's not that's a little one. The one underneath that. This one here. 3.1 loading. Okay. And you can see that uh, there we do have some inflation there from what we had read beforehand. Now, going to the volcano of the volcanoes of Idaho, we know that Idaho has nine volcanoes. Um, Utah has eight volcanoes going down uh, south of Salt Lake City, eight volcanoes uh, going into uh, Baja right there. So we have nine volcanoes there. You can see basically they're up to the border of. Uh, 
Wyoming, that's where we have Yellowstone right there. And the other nine volcanoes going down this way. And um, that's Baja there. So it makes it makes us sort of like a, a line of a seven. The lines of a seven. Okay. And the, late, the last time one of these erupted was the um, uh, Blackfoot Lava Field. Am I right? Or am I getting this upset? Am I getting this wrong? Uh, was it this one or was it the one that uh, went off at 600, 660 years ago? 660 uh, years ago. This is Craters of the Moon. Okay. This is Craters of the Moon. The eruptions began 15,000 years ago, ended with the most recent so far, eruptions only 2,100 years ago. Uh, this is uh, the one that they expect to um, erupt Craters of the Moon area. It goes off like clockwork every uh, 3,000 years, so at any time from now until a thousand years from now, it's expected to give a seven or seven and a half magnitude earthquake there. The background. Okay. In the contrast to Crater of the Moon, most other lava fields in the Stink River Plain form during single short eruptions. On average, lava output rate at 1.5 cubic kilometers per thousand years. Periods 15,000 to 7,000 years ago. Background, 25 cinder cone formed primarily along 45 kilometer long segment of the Great Rift. And um, that's the craters of the moon. But that's just one of the uh, nine volcanoes. All right, let's go to the Blackfoot Lava Field. The Blackfoot Lava Field. Located within the gravit of the North Bay, this is actually part of the ERSRP, mineralogy, uh, by, um, by geochemistry, and bimodal volcanism. Shield volcanoes are less common. More ex explosive volcanism appears to have been prevalent and uh, believed to be similar in age to Gem Valley lavas. And they may have a potential geothermal source there because there's magma underneath. Okay. And now the uh, Long Valley caldera, where we saw the quake swarm as well. East of Sierra Nevada, as we saw before, the last super eruption happened 760,000 years ago, forming the widespread voluminous Bishop Tuff. And this is our uh, area of Long Valley Caldera, right here, general area. You have here Mono Lake, and where we have the legend here is our quake swarm around here. Remember, let's go, let's go back to right here, Mono Lake and our quake swarm area, and Mono Lake and our quake swarm area, right where this legend is. So that's, that's the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano area. Simplified geologic map of Long Valley Caldera and the Mono Inyo Crater's volcanic chain. Okay, the background, as we said, the super eruption 760,000 years ago. Activity continued central part of the caldera to form the lava dome. Smaller explosive eruptions occurred as well for outer ring fracture events, and the last activity was about only 50,000 years ago. Its early history caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen on the caldera walls today. Later, that lake drained through the Owens River Gorge. And the Owens River Gorge is here. Here, uh, let's pull out. That's it. Owens Valley, Owens River Gorge. Okay. This is where that water drained out towards Ridgecrest, as you can see here. So all this is part of the Long Valley Caldera. It's got this thing here. Okay, it's still going on. And um, this is the Walker Lane Fault System. This is the Walker Lane Fault System, where Ridgecrest is. 
that's another volcanic field, of course, the Kosovo volcanic field. And this is the San Andreas Fault. The San Andreas takes up 75% of the subduction pressure of the Pacific Plate under the North American Plate. And the Walker Lane Fault System takes up the other 25%. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, what's, how much is this one here? That is 3.6 in Nevada. Okay. So, uh, all of you there, please be very careful. Uh, we do have inflation there as well in Long Valley Caldera. I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you for your support. God bless you all. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.